Hi yogis, let's get started into child's pose. So spread your knees out nice and wide about mat distance apart. Bring your big toes together to touch. Send your hips back, reach your arms out in front of you. Melt your forehead down on your mat, close your eyes and simply breathe. Really take notice of each inhale and each exhale that you take. And on each exhale, let go of something, something that's not serving you. Release that heaviness on each exhale. Now take a deep inhale as you rise up to a tabletop position. Keep breathing, stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Take a deep inhale, cow pose, drop your belly down, gaze forward. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow, keep going, warm up the spine. Exhale, cat pose. So take a few cat cows on your own here. The goal is to create a nice warm spine. You may add in some neck rolls if needed. Whatever your body needs, you know it the best. And when you've had enough, just come back to a neutral tabletop position. Come back to stillness, take a deep inhale, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes in. Exhale, hover your knees over your mat just a couple of inches. Feel that sensation in your core for three, two, one. Downward facing dog, straighten your legs, send the hips to your mat. You may need to pedal out the legs, take out any kinks, any pops. Now lift your heels up, come on all 10 toes, and then lower your heels back down. Just sending some love to the toes. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. So step your feet behind your wrists and then interlace your fingers behind your neck. Feel that release in your spine. Let your head hang nice and heavy. Rock from side to side if you'd like. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, release your fingers back to your mat and bring your feet closer together. Take another deep inhale, slowly uncurl all the way up to standing. Reach your arms when you make it to the top, bring your palms to touch. Then bring your hands to your heart, stand at attention. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice with the energy of resetting and refreshing. Seal your intention in with a deep inhale through your nose and an open mouth exhale. Release your hands by your sides and we will begin sun salutation A. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. So your lower half stays the same. Simply twist your body with your core. Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, swan dive your arms into a forward fold. Hinge your hips, gaze back behind you. Option to bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank. So plant your palms, step your feet back. Option to lower your knees if you'd like, just like this. Otherwise, knees up, fire up your core, lower down halfway. Elbow should be at a 90 degree angle. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, shoot your hips up and back. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Big exhale out of your mouth. And we will flow that now, one breath, one movement. Take a deep inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Good, inhale, back to center. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Keep going. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana, plant your palms, step your feet back, take your option. 
Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, looking good. Let's flow that again. Again, lock in your intention as you move. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset your spine. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your palms, step your feet back, fire up your core. Inhale, upward facing dog, breathe through it. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Let's begin sun salutation B. Take a deep inhale, lift your right leg high. Keep your hips squared forward. Exhale, connect your knee to your right tricep. So fire up your core again, squeeze. Inhale, back to three leg dog, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot in between your hands. Take a deep inhale, crescent lunge pose. Reach your arms up, square your hips and your shoulders forward. Exhale, open arm, twist to the right. So your bottom half stays the same. Twist out your core and face the right. Inhale, warrior two. So you're unraveling all the way to the other side. Feel your hips unlocking. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach and extend your right arm down and your left arm up. Okay, so come into your right toes for releve if you'd like. Otherwise, inhale, reverse warrior. Open to the side. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. So windmill your arms, plant your palms, lift your right leg, step it back, lower down, just like before. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, shoot your hips up and back. All right, let's do the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg nice and high. Exhale, left knee to your left tricep, squeeze. Inhale, back to your left leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot in between your hands. Find that alignment. Inhale, crescent lunge pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. So twist it out, detox, rinse. Inhale, warrior two all the way to the other side. Exhale, extended side angle, reach and extend. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. Option to come onto releve on your left toes, open to the side. Exhale, chaturanga, cartwheel your arms, plant your palms, step your left foot back and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a big exhale out of your mouth. All right, yogis, so we will flow that again. Lock in the intention of resetting. Big inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale, back to three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, warrior two to the other side. Exhale, extended side angle. Remember your vinyasa. Connect each asana. Inhale, reverse warrior on your toes. Exhale, chaturanga nandasana. Take your version. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we will keep it moving on the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, left knee to your left tricep, squeeze. Inhale, back to three leg dog. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot through. Find the alignment with your feet. Inhale, crescent lunge pose. Exhale, open arm, twist to the left, twist, reset. Inhale, warrior two to the other side. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, releve. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, cartwheel your arms, plant your palms, step your left foot back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll your shoulders back, shine your heart forward. Exhale, child's pose. Send your hips back. Open your knees, rest your forehead on your mat, 
come back to your home base. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a big exhale out of your mouth. Now rise up and we will make our way on our backs and enter a supine figure four, opening up the hips just a little bit more. So once you make your way on your back, come down into the soles of your feet, stack your knees over your heels, and then take the right side of your right ankle and place it on top of your left thigh. Thread the needle, grab for your left knee. Flex both of your feet to protect your knees. And send the sole of your left foot to the ceiling. And you have the option to wrap from left to right. Really taking care of the hips, which of course takes care of the spine. And when you've had enough, swap it out. So. Take the outside of your left ankle, place it on top of your right thigh, thread the needle and grab for your right knee. Again, flex both of your feet. The right sole of your foot faces the ceiling. Option to rock from left to right. Nice, now release. And we will take a bridge pose. So stack your knees on top of your heels. Be sure that they're aligned. Interlace your fingers underneath you and prepare to lift your hips up as high as you can. So inhale, bridge pose, lift your hips as high as you can, really pressing down with your arms, which gets your hips up as high as you possibly can. And then lower your hips, bring the soles of your feet to touch, butterfly your knees open for Supta Baddha Konasana. Place your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your belly. Take a moment to feel the pulse of your heart beating. Take a moment to connect with the power of taking a reset, a declutter and refreshing your life. When you're ready, grab your knees and close them like a book. Lower your left leg down and hug your right knee into your right armpit. Take a deep inhale, squeeze. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your right knee across your body. Extend your right arm out and work your gaze to the right. Come back to center and swap out your legs. Extend your right leg long and hug your left knee into your left armpit. Take a deep inhale, squeeze. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your left knee across your body. Extend your left arm out and work your gaze to the left. Now bring both knees back to center. Give yourself a big hug, curl into the tiniest ball, big inhale, squeeze, exhale, final Shavasana. Lay down, relax, take up all the room that you need. Take any tension out of your face. Take any tension out of your body. Simply allow your body to absorb the power of a reset. Know that you can stay here as long as you'd like and I will see you in the next class. Namaste.